So Kevin, walk us through your argument. Sure, thanks Emily. Uh, I guess the argument really comes down to a question of, is there a path to the level of gross profitability that current street estimates are, are calling for? And, and we see a, a really challenging path. Uh, if you look through kind of what the stock has done recently, the move from 120 to 150, we think a lot of that reflects a, a degree of confidence of some near-term relief uh, by way of content costs and the ability for Spotify to drive some high margin ancillary revenue streams. We think the actual likely outcome uh, of some of those near-term events is going to disappoint investors in a way that will lead shares lower over the near term. Longer term, we remain actually quite concerned as well, actually, around just the degree of competition in the market and Spotify's real leverage over the labels, which control an enormous amount of their costs. Which competitor specifically? I mean, it, it's, it's really Apple Music right now, right? Well, I think you're right. In the United States, it's Apple Music. But if you go market by market, which we laid out in our report this morning, it's actually a whole host of competitors. If we look at India, Indonesia, Brazil, Turkey, there's usually a, a, a very close second or even leading uh, competitor there for, for Spotify in a way that probably doesn't get reflected if you look at just the, the global averages. So the market, again, far more competitive than indicated by just those headline numbers. So what kind of content bets are you most skeptical of? They've definitely doubled down on podcasts. Is that going to pay off? I think podcasts are an interesting opportunity and certainly one that can drive growth. It's just really a question of scale. So podcasts as a share of listening has gone from 2% to 4% over the last few years. Uh, and it's probably growing somewhere around 25%. That being said, we're really not at the point where that kind of growth at that limited scale is going to move the needle for spot shares or for sort of the financials. Uh, and that's where we come and are struggling. So again, it's a good opportunity, but not probably big enough to satisfy the demands of investors over the medium term. Now, we've been talking a lot about direct listings, especially with the direct listing of Slack last week. And if you look at Spotify's momentum, they're actually fairly flat from where they started trading on opening day. Of course, they got to capture all of the gains from that pop in the re you know, between the reference price and the opening price. That said, in reality, you know, shares are flat. Do you think that the direct listing was a good call? Well, I think it's, it's an interesting question. It's one that probably companies need to consider. I, I mean, we've seen Slack do it. We've seen Spotify do it. And there's probably pros and cons to be made uh, in both directions. So I wouldn't necessarily say there's a blanket statement as to if one is better than the other. It's probably more for individual companies and individual boards to decide. So what do you think Spotify's path to profit is? Is there one, especially with Apple, you know, as you mentioned, ha having a deep cash pile and the benefit of being on the iPhone? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, you know, that is the question for spot shares. And, you know, our big concern is that Spotify is ultimately going to prove to be a pure play on a loss leader category. So if we look at sort of the deep pocketed competitors, whether that be Apple, Amazon, Google, they can largely operate streaming music as a benefit to their broader ecosystems and not have to generate profits in streaming music on a standalone basis. For that reason, it really, you know, we struggle to see a way by which you know the industry level profit really will be attractive and you know spot is a pure play on that industry it's very much an ongoing question as to what the key driver is i mean the management team and bulls in the name will point to a two-sided marketplace the ability to drive you know kind of high margin promoted listening type revenues that's something that you know is worth exploring but it's unproven and I, I would say only time will tell. We're skeptical, but obviously there's room for debate.